Hi, you're very welcome. So just a reminder of where we picked off or where we dropped off in the last video. So we'd clicked on share, we clicked on copy, we'd gone up here and uh, close this for a second, control V. And let's say come along here, data entry, pick a person's name, pick the date from the calendar, and let's say put in, let's say 10.5. Okay. Now, once you've entered a number of items of data, you then click on submit. So this is what the user sees. And then if they need to enter it again, they just go submit another response and they're good to go for the next one. Right. So that's the first bit here. Now, for you as the person who's gathering the data, what do you see? OK, so this is what you have here. So you go back into your forms and you see an option here that says responses. So we're just going to look specifically at two things here which is, um, and you see there I've already been entering some data into it, tells me the number of responses, um, average time to complete, I can have a look at it, all right, and it just gives me a quick summary of the data even at this point, so that can be just really, really useful, all right. So at this point, all I'm doing is saying, okay, it gives me 14 responses, and I can also go to an option here, it says view the results, and if I go up here, it says anonymous, and I can go through each of the individual responses, okay, just to check them, and then if I want to go back, okay. Now, the thing we're going to look at the next day is that, you know, so far so good, but let's say you now want to download that into Excel. That's what we're going to look at in the next part of this blog post. Right? So um, I hope you find this useful, and I do hope that you try and create your own forms and uh, let me know uh, in the comments how you got on. Mind yourself, take care, bye.